Today we are going to discuss about the technologies and tools of Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Indus Civilization or the Harappan Civilization was a Bronze Age civilization in the Indian subcontinent, lasting from 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE. Together with ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, it was one of three early civilizations of the world, and of the three, the most widespread. Its sites span an area from much of Pakistan, to northeast Afghanistan, and northwestern, and western India. Tools or Technologies of the Civilization Harapans evolved some new techniques in metallurgy and produced copper, bronze, lead, and tin. A touchstone bearing gold streaks was found in Banawali, which was probably used for testing the purity of gold, such a technique is still used in some parts of India. The people of the Indus civilization achieved great accuracy in measuring length, mass, and time. They were among the first to develop a system of uniform weights and measures. Harapan engineers followed the decimal division of measurement for all practical purposes, including the measurement of mass as revealed by their hexahedron weights found in various sites. However, as in other cultures, actual weights were not uniform throughout the area. The weights and measures of Indus civilization were later used in Kautilya's Arthashastra of 4th century BCE are the same as those used in the Indus Valley civilization. Which shows a great uniformity. Arts and Crafts of the Civilization Many Indus Valley seals and items in pottery and terracotta have been found, along with a very few stone sculptures and some gold jewelry and bronze vessels. Some anatomically detailed figurines in terracotta, bronze, and steatite have been found at excavation sites, which were probably mostly toys. The Harapans also made various games, among them cubical dice, with one to six holes on the faces, which were found in sites like Mohenjo-daro. The terracotta figurines included cows, bears, monkeys, and dogs. The animal depicted on a majority of seals has not been clearly identified. Part bull, part zebra, with a majestic horn, it has been a source of speculation. As yet, there is insufficient evidence to substantiate claims that the image had religious or cultic significance but the prevalence of the image raises the question of whether or not the animals and images of the IVC are religious symbols. Many crafts including, shell working, ceramics, and agate and glazed steatite bead making were practiced and the pieces were used in the making of necklaces, bangles, and other ornaments from all phases of Harapan culture. Some of these crafts are still practiced in the subcontinent today. Some makeup and toiletry items, a special kind of combs, kakai, the use of collyrium and a special three-in-one toiletry gadget, that were found in Harapan contexts still have similar counterparts in modern India. Terracotta female figurines were found which had red color applied to the manga, line of partition of the hair. Musical instruments Archaeological evidence indicates the use of simple rattles and vessel flutes, while iconographical evidence suggests early harps and drums were also used. An ideogram in the IVC contains the earliest known depiction of an arched harp, dated sometime before 1800 BCE. IVC may have had bullet carts identical to those seen throughout South Asia today, as well as boats. Most of these boats were probably small, flat-bottomed craft, perhaps driven by sail, similar to those one can see on the Indus River today. There are also some other inventions of the civilization, such as Buttons made from seashell were used in the Indus Valley Civilization for ornamental purposes by 2000 BCE. Some buttons were carved into geometric shapes and had holes pierced into them so that they could be attached to clothing by using a thread. Ian McNeil said that, the button, in fact, was originally used more as an ornament than as a fastening, the earliest known being found at Mohenjo-daro in the Indus Valley. It is made of a curved shell and about 5,000 years old. Shipyard The world's oldest shipyard has been found in the Lothal site. Cockfighting Cockfighting was a pastime in the Indus Valley civilization by 2000 BCE. Earliest clear evidence of the origins of the steppe well is found in the Indus Valley Civilization's archaeological site at Mohenjo-daro and Dalavira. 
The three features of steppe wells in the subcontinent are evident from one particular site, abandoned by 2500 BCE, which combines a bathing pool, steps leading down to water, and figures of some religious importance into one structure. The early centuries immediately before the Common Era saw the Buddhists and the Jains of India adapt the steppe wells into their architecture. Both the wells and the form of ritual bathing reached other parts of the world with Buddhism. Circular saw is also excavated in Lothal's site of Indus Valley civilization. Bow drill. Bow drills were used in Murgar between the 4th and 5th millennium BC. This bow drill used to drill holes into lapis lazuli and carnelian was made of green jasper. Similar drills were found in other parts of the Indus Valley civilization. Public baths. The earliest public baths are found in the ruins in of the Indus Valley civilization. According to scholars, the Great Bath of Mohenjo-daro was the size of a modest municipal swimming pool, complete with stairs leading down to the water at each one of its ends. Raymond Derry of Indus Valley Civilization contains the earliest evidence of a grid-planned city in South Asia dated 3300 BCE. By 2600 BC, Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, and other major cities of the Indus Valley Civilization, were built with blocks divided by a grid of straight streets, running north, south and east, west. Each block was subdivided by small lanes. Mohenjo-daro circa 2800 BC is cited as having some of the most advanced, with toilets built into outer walls of homes. These toilets were western style, albeit a primitive form, with vertical chutes, via which waste was disposed of into cesspits or street drains. The Indus Valley Civilization had advanced sewerage and drainage systems. All houses in the major cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro had access to water and drainage facilities. Waste water was directed to covered gravity sewers, which lined the major streets. Distillation a terracotta distillation apparatus was found in the Indus Valley which dates from around 3000 BCE. Cotton Industry The Indus cotton industry was well developed and some methods used in cotton spinning and fabrication continued to be used until the industrialization of India. Public Litter Bins Archaeologists have found several brick containers that were strategically located along the street junctions of Mohenjo-daro specifically for garbage disposal. Dentistry. The evidence of dentistry being practiced as far back as 7000 BCE. An IVC site in Murgar indicates that this form of dentistry involved curing tooth related disorders with bow drills operated, perhaps, by skilled bead crafters. The reconstruction of this ancient form of dentistry showed that the methods used were reliable and effective. Touchstone. Found in excavations from Banawali site, Haryana. Signboard. One of the most significant discoveries at Dalavira was made in one of the side rooms of the northern gateway of the city, and is generally known as the Dalavira signboard. The Harapans had arranged and set pieces of the mineral gypsum to form ten large symbols or letters on a big wooden board. At some point, the board fell flat on its face. The wood decayed, but the arrangement of the letters survived. The letters of the signboard are comparable to large bricks that were used in nearby walls. Each sign is about 37 centimeters, 15 in, high and the board on which the letters were inscribed was about 3 meters, 9.8 feet long. The inscription is one of the longest in the Indus script, with one symbol appearing four times, and this and its large size and public nature make it a key piece of evidence cited by scholars arguing that the Indus script represents full literacy. A four-sign inscription with large letters on a sandstone is also found at this site, considered the first of such inscriptions on sandstone at any of the Harapan sites. Hydraulic Engineering One of the unique features of Dalavira, of the site the civilization, is the sophisticated water conservation system of channels and reservoirs, the earliest found anywhere in the world, built completely of stone. The city had massive reservoirs, three of which are exposed. They were used for storing fresh water brought by rains or to store water diverted from two nearby rivulets. This clearly came in response to the desert climate and conditions of Kutch, 
where several years may pass without rainfall. A seasonal stream which runs in a north-south direction near the site was dammed at several points to collect water. In Murgar people had developed a water storage system called Bun to trap rain and torrential waters in the semi-arid region of Catch in between the Indus River and Balakistan Mountains where the seasonal Bolan River flows. Stone walls were built along the slope of torrential river beds to serve as reservoir dams, restrict flow of water and for diverting water into canals for irrigation. The world's earliest stadium with terrace stands was constructed at Dalavira and Juni Quran. Two stadiums have been identified at the ancient site, one is considered a ceremonial ground, another, a small stadium. At Juni Quran, two separate stadiums for commoners and the elite have been discovered. Bronze Sculpture Dancing girl from Mohenjadero belonging to the Harapan civilization dating back to 2500 BCE is said to be the first bronze statue. Lost Wax Casting A detailed, Full-field photoluminescent study of a 6,000-year-old copper, wheel, amulet from Murgar in Balakistan has opened the door to many new facts about this period of history. This study by Ipanema, the European Center for the Study of Ancient Materials, believes that this is the oldest known example of the lost wax casting technique, one of the most important innovations in the history of metallurgy. Shampoo In Banawali site, Archaeologists have found some substance that have traces of a mixture of shikakai with soap nuts and amla, an Indian gooseberry of what would constitute herbal shampoo. Mordant Dye Fixing Mordants for fixing dyes were used since the Indus Valley Civilization, it exhibited Indian mastery over clothes dyeing which was unrivaled until the invention of Western chemical dyes. Earliest stonewares, predecessors of porcelain have been recorded at the Indus Valley Civilization sites of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, they were used for making stoneware bangles. English Bond This bond has alternating stretching and heading courses, with the headers centered over the midpoint of the stretchers, and perpends in each alternate course aligned. Harapan architecture was the first use, anywhere in the world, of so-called English Bond in building with bricks. Modern Saw True saws with modern teeth were a Harapan invention. Needle's Eye The eye of the needle was another Harapan contribution. Etched Carnelian Beads These are a type of ancient decorative beads made from carnelian with an etched design in white. They were made according to a technique of alkaline etching developed by the Harapans during the 3rd millennium BCE and were widely dispersed from China in the east to Greece in the west. Finished ivory products like coal sticks, pins, awls, hooks, toggles, combs, gamesmen, dice, inlay and other personal ornaments are considered to have its origin form Harapan civilization. Gemstones and Lapis Lazuli Lapis Lazuli artifacts dated to 7570 BCE, have been found at Burana, which is the oldest site of the Indus Valley Civilization. Sesame Oil Sesame seeds were one of the first crops processed for oil as well as one of the earliest condiments. Sesame was cultivated during the Indus Valley Civilization and was the main oil crop. It was probably exported to Mesopotamia around 2500 BC. Pashmina Samples of wool fibers discovered from corroded copper artifacts from Harappa dating back to the Indus Valley Civilization are extremely fine and resemble Pashmina and Shatush. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider to hit the like button also share the video and do consider subscribing to the channel.